checking out this video, don't forget, like and subscribe. All right, the uh, SmackDown show, 17,500 at Madison Square Garden, and these fans were out of their minds. Yeah. This was like one of those overseas shows where they're just th they're just like cheering and singing and chanting, and it was a very newsworthy show because it opens up with Solo and well, Bloodline the, the, showing up. The, the, the main event angle was fantastic. Yeah, we'll get to that. So they show up, and Cody, Kevin, and Randy Orton come out. And there's this giant brawl, and Nick Aldis is out there, security's out there, and uh, Aldis is screaming at Cody because security's torn him apart, and he's screaming, you know, we got a show to run here, and Cody screams, this is the best part of the show. That was so pretty funny. He breaks free again, and they have another brawl, and finally the cops come out, and uh, and everyone gets sent to the back. But uh, Cody cut a promo saying, when it comes to Solo, I don't see a tribal chief. I don't see a head of the table. I just see a seat filler. That led to the main event angle. We had Jade and Tiffany Stratton and Candace three-way Money in the Bank qualifier. And uh, Tiffany won with the uh, PME. Pretty good match. Tiffany is heading to Money in the Bank. And uh, again, uh, an upset in the sense that Jade ended up not winning this match. So uh, there have been a lot but, of reasons. Uh, she, 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 she shouldn't, but Jade shouldn't be in that match. No. You know what I mean? I well, mean, they're going with, with uh, you know, they're going to go after the tag team titles. Yeah, but she shouldn't she shouldn't be in that match anyway. That wouldn't be a good idea for her to be in a, you know, like a, another ladder match. We only, God damn, two more ladder matches this week after seeing this one tonight. They're both going to have a hard time topping this one tonight, though. So Paul wants to know where Jacob Fatu's at. And Solo says... He ain't here. He's not here. What's the point of a wise man if I don't take your advice... He says he was too dangerous. He's not here. He's not going to be here. That's why you're my wise man, and we're going to make that official tonight. They had scheduled that for the main event. Another three-way qualifier, Santos, Logan Paul, and L.A. Knight. I thought for sure Santos was winning, and L.A. Knight and Logan would do their feud. But in fact, L.A. Knight pulled the trunks and uh, pinned Logan Paul. To set up their U.S. title match. So, yeah, L.A. Knight's going to do Money in the Bank, and then L.A. Knight and Logan Paul SummerSlam, which I guess yeah. I should have seen coming. Yeah. So, incredible heat for this match. Uh, it was it was good. We had uh, a couple of other packages. That that uh, Sika video package, mm -hmm. they always do these video packages when people pass away, and they've always like been really good, but this new production team... This was one of the best produced video packages I've ever seen out of WWE. Like, even by their standards, this was something special. And uh, it was just, it was great. We had Blair Davenport, Naomi, and Indy Hartwell, which was okay. Uh, Jade came down to ringside, attacked Indy because Indy had posted her earlier. And she threw her into the ring. Naomi hit a high kick, pinned her. Naomi is in Money in the Bank. And then the main event of the show, which is just amazing. So Solo grabs the mic before Paul can say anything. Fans are going nuts with We Want Roman Chance. And Solo says, before we get to Paul, I want to introduce the newest member of the bloodline, the Samoan werewolf, my enforcer, Jacob Fatu. And Paul is shocked because Solo said he wasn't going to be here. So they go to break, they come back, and Solo demands, everybody acknowledge me. And so Tonga, Tama, Fatu all acknowledge him. Paul can't believe it. And Solo says, now you're going to acknowledge me individually. And so they all acknowledge him individually. And then Solo goes to Paul. And Paul Heyman, is, he's ashen. Bloodshot eyes. Looks like he's going to cry. He says, you need to acknowledge me. And Tongaloa grabs the bag with the tribal beads. And Solo demands Paul acknowledge him and put the beat around his neck, proclaim him the new tribal chief. And Paul takes these beads and he looks at the heaven and he's, he's in tears. And he says, Solo, I love you. And I acknowledge that you are not my tribal chief. And this building the place went melted nuts. down. They went, they Just went nuts. an incredible reaction. And yes. Paul is, he's bawling his eyes out. And Solo hits a big thumb to the throat. And Paul takes a bump. And he's selling it like he's going to die. 
And Solo sends Fatu up top. He hits the diving headbutt. And they tear apart the announce table. And they take Paul outside. And I was like, oh, my God. He's going to take the big bump. And they lift this dude up, and they gave him the shield power bomb through the table. But you go through the table, he slid. He slid well, over. Well, he was supposed to, but it, it it fell over, and he fell down. But the crowd's doing the holy oh, shit man. chance. Jacob takes the beads and he puts them around Solo's neck. And man, I just watched this, and I thought, you know, this is a fantastic angle. When fantastic. when Roman and Cody had that match, and Cody won, and Roman left, and Cody went to the other show. And Solo was in charge. It was like, you know, they're they're doing something, but like, how can you how can you get this? Like, how can you do it? You don't have Roman. Cody's not involved anymore. Like, it's just kind of it's there. It, it's all right. But man, they built to this angle here, and man, Roman Reigns coming back. Oh yeah, it'll be big. Be, it'll be big. He's it'll- gonna be a babyface on par with Cody. And no, he'll be he'll 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 well, it'll be different. It'll yeah. be different than Cody. But, but you yeah. know what? I mean, in, in reality, um, they probably shouldn't be on the same show. No. Roman you should know. be on SmackDown. Cody needs to be on Raw. Yeah, Cody should go back to Raw. He, Although, but this, here's the thing. Raw's going to have you know Seth Rollins and CM Punk. Well, that's so. fine. But like these are your two absolute top baby faces, but Cody Punk's, and Roman. CM Punk's a big draw, though. He is, but, uh, I, but, I, 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 but I agree I with would you. not put him at the level of Cody and Roman right now. And, and you know and, what? And, if they can get one on each show and keep them this hot, like, you know, this is a Rock Austin type deal. You've got two massive, massive baby faces. Roman Reigns is going to be like, by, you know, like obviously bigger than he ever was before. Oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah. They're yeah. chanting. I mean, every segment they're chanting, "We want Roman." Well, and the other thing too is, is you've got the whole bloodline versus bloodline feud because it's like the layer. I mean, there's a lot that they can open up because you've got Roman and Paul Heyman who will be together, and then you've got Jimmy Uso, and then you've got the whole thing of trying to get Jay back, you know, and they can do a big long story. And then you've got I, the Rock. We got the Rock, and you got Hikaleo. We're we're yeah. here. We're we shouldn't fit in the freaking giant guy that no one's seen yet. Yeah. Yeah. And Jay and freaking Jacob fought too. He came out. And oh. He has a great ring entrance, and the people he's already a superstar. And that guy, boy, he got himself into shape. He looked so much lighter than I've ever seen him. And he's a he's a, like I said, of all the guys in the family, the most the as far as inside the ring, he is the most um, versatile. I guess I don't want to say he's the best because. A lot of them are good, and 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 Jay Uso is a hell of a worker, and Roman, Roman's good at what he does, and and um, you know they're all good. You know Tamatong has been a, you know Tamatong has been awesome. Tamatong has been very very impressive, but Jacob can do more than all of them. And not just that, but like it's it's been two shows, and I know they got to do what they got to do and everything like that, but man, to me, Jacob Fatu versus Cody is such a bigger match than Cody and Solo. It's so much Not, bigger, it, 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 but you don't. You, but it's too early to do it. The other ones, it's time for the. It's time for Cody and Solo. Jacob Fatu and Cody should be way down the line. It's, it's way too early to do that match. Yeah. Well, before we go, tomorrow is Raw, and uh, we've got some stuff added to the show. We've got Liv Morgan versus Zelina Vega for the women's title, Rey Mysterio versus Dominic Mysterio, which I haven't seen in a long time actually. Drew McIntyre, Sheamus, and Ilya Dragunov in a Money in the Bank qualifier. Zoe Stark, Dakota Kai, and Ivy Nile in a women's Money in the Bank qualifier. And Xavier Woods and Karrion Cross has been added. Yeah. So that's the lineup for Raw. Vinny is the YWF World Heavyweight Wrestling Champion. You want the thumb wrestling because of your, your judo practitioning and a very strong grip strength you and have. My, your my, tendon strength. My massive musculature. Sure, huh? sure. And then Vinny won uh, musical chairs. Yes. Because of his large ass. Dominant size and girth. I've never seen such a height disparity in living people. Final match was Oreo stacking. I won't lie, I got cocky. It was very close. Yes, I got cocky and I lost. You did get to chop John. He was a good sport. He took seven chops. He took seven chops, which was... They mostly sucked. I don't think that's true at all. Hey guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.